Hey YouTube, this is Jaden from Team Shadow Strike coming at you. Um, I made uh, a video regarding this um, while I was at my local Saturday, but when I came home and watched it, it really didn't turn out that well. Um, so if you're a teammate watching this wondering, I thought he already made this video, that's what that's for. But anyway, um, the set night sneak peek uh, for Clash of the Dragon Knights and Dragons um, was amazing for me. I uh, I got pretty much everything that I wanted to start with and more. Um, I'll show you all the cards that I pulled. Also, for the sneak peek tournament, I did get first place along with uh, fellow teammate Zane. He's the one whose Grand Blue Gra uh, Grand Blue's deck profiles on here, and he's also the one um, I'll be doing the podcast with shortly. Um, still kind of getting the odds and ends together for that. So, if you haven't seen it, this was the map. Dragonic Kaiser of Vermilion the Blood. Um, like I said in a video before that, when I was uh, talking about it beforehand, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the mat for myself, which if I did, I'd frame it, because I will I I don't really like the short mats, but I love the artwork on it. And, or two, I will do some kind of giveaway for it. Um but before I make my decision, um, I am willing to hear if any of you guys want it. So if you do want it, um, PM me, uh, and we can talk or leave a comment in the comment section below, and maybe we can work out some kind of trade or deal. So if you're interested in it, let me know. Um, but no guarantee that I will be willing to give it away. But no harm seeing if any of y'all want it before. That it might. If you have some cards I'm looking for, it, I, I might, I'll, I'll probably be persuaded to trade it. So anyway, let me show you what I got. First off, there, there were six main cards that I wanted to pick up, um, and I got a couple of these. Uh, uh, you know, so I, I did really well. Um, the first one and the main card that I wanted to see at least one of while I was at the sets nine sneak peek was one Blazing Lion Platinum Azel. Um, my friend and teammate Cody uh, did not want to enter the sneak peek, so I entered him uh, into the sneak peek, and then I just kept the cards, so in a way I did pull this. Um, so I got one of these. I'm looking for a full playset, so if you happen to have any and you're not interested in any of them, let me know. I got one Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion the Blood. Um one of out of my six packs, one of the cards I pulled was uh, Crimson Impact Metatron, the Angel Feather Superior Ride one, uh, and a friend of mine pulled this, and then another friend pulled a Chrome Jailer. So we worked out a three-way trade where we all got the card that we wanted out of the bunch, so it worked out, and so I got the blood. Uh, one Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom. Um, I traded this to my friend. Got this from my friend uh, Landon um, for a couple Murakumo Perfect Guards and um, all my Murakumo Commons that I got from the uh, pre-release. So, no wait, no, I traded my Murakumo Perfect Guards to someone else. I got this from Landon for uh, two Demon World Arkees Amons uh, for his Dark Regular deck. The two uh, Murakumo Perfects I traded to my friend Zane. Um, so, that's how I got that. Uh, then I pulled a Blaster Blade Spirit, and then my f uh, friend Josh pulled a Blaster Dark Spirit. So I got one of each of the spirits, which I was very happy about, especially since both Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark are, some, are two of my favorite cards. And then I got one uh, Polaris for my Great Natures. Um, so overall, um, those were the big ones. Um, I almost got a full play set of Donticle from trading. Um, almost a full play set of Draco Kid for training, for tra for training for tra from trading. Um, only two 12k attackers for Narakarmi. I didn't get any for Gold Paladin. That was the only bad thing I could say about the sneak peek, and that doesn't even matter to me because when the boxes come out, I'll be able to pick those up easy. Um, one Soko, the starter for Narakami, that's just the 6k boost. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this or not. Um, I will play test. Almost a full set of the new draw trigger for Great Nature. Two of the new stand trigger for Aqua Force. Not real crazy about the artwork. I like Dolphin and Seagull Soldier better. Um, then one Tri Hull. I don't know how I feel about this card yet. Um, one Storm Rider Damon. Not sure how I am about that card. 
Uh, I picked up one Lion at Heat off a friend. Uh, I think they just gave it to me, mainly just because I like lions. Uh, one advance of the Black Chains uh, Kaiden. I don't know about this one yet. And then I got the Ezel Starter. So I um, for the Ezel Starter, I'm still thinking about using my uh, Gold Pilot and Ezel deck, um, which I'm, I've believe I've made a few changes to it since the last time I posted a deck profile, and we not only had a uh, sneak peek tournament, we also had a regular tournament. I played my uh, Ezel deck in the uh, regular tournament following our sneak peek event, which I did not use Platin Ezel. No one used their the cards they got out of their packs. Um, we just used our regular decks, but um, so that's how it was. Um, I, I should probably should have done this when I showed each of the cards. For the main six, um, I'll read them to you really quick, just in case you're not sure about what they do. Um, Platina Azel. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, his limit break is um, remember all the cross rides in this set. Most of them they have a limit. They have an ultimate break five. Um, this one choose up to five of your gold pallet and rear guards in this unit gets plus five thousand, and those units get plus five thousand until the end of turn. You counterblast three for it. So this is your vanguard, and all your other all your other rear guards will basically gain five k for the turn. So it, it's something that can really pretty much almost seal the game for you. And then if Ezel the incandescent lion blonde Ezels in the soul, he gains two thousand power at all times. So, but I do, this is the one that I need copies of the most fast. So if you have three copies or two copies or even one copy of this and you have no use for it, um, hit me up and I will get back to you as soon as I can because I want to pick these up quick. Um, then Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion the Blood. Um, his ultimate break um, where you need five damage, counter blast three until the end of this turn. This unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus one critical. And this unit battles all of your opponent's units in the front row in one attack. So it's the same as Vermilion, only he gains an extra crit and 5,000 instead of 2. And then if Ver, uh, just the regular Vermilion is in the soul, he goes to 13. And then Glory Maelstrom. His ultimate break is a Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, until the end of battle, this unit receives five plus 5,000 power, and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater units to the guard from his or her hand so basically all that means is your opponent will not be able to use the perfect guard on you um and also if you have blue storm dragon maelstrom and the sully goes to 13 um then for blaster blade spirit uh, counter blast one when this unit is placed on the rear guard from the deck so it must be called off the top of the deck you may pay the cost if you do choose up to one of your opponents grade two or greater rear guards in the front row and retire it um, at the end of the bat and then his rear guard ability which obviously will be because this it'll only apply in this sense at the end of the battle that this unit was attacked retire this unit so that means if even if he was attacked even if you guard the attack if he was attacked he dies period so he w don't expect him to stick around for long. He's mainly just there to call off the top of your deck, pop something, swing with him once, and then most likely your opponent will pick him off. Um, or you could use him to intercept before that. Um, and then his continuous ability is he's also treated as a gold paladin, even though his uh, primary clan is royal. And then Blaster Dark Spirit is almost the same, but with one difference. Counter Blast 1, when this card is placed on the rear guard from the deck, so like Blaster Blade, it must be called off the top of the deck. You may, If you do, pay the cost, um, which if you do, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or less rear guards in the front row and retire it. Excuse me, so Blaster Blade is grade 2 and higher, and Blaster Dark Spirit is 2 and lower. And then, um, just like Blaster Blade, if he is in the front row and he is attacked, he dies. Well, no, if he is attacked, period, he dies in the end. And then he is uh, also treated as a gold paladin as well. Even though he's his basic clan that, as it says down there, is shadow paladin. And then for the final of the big six, Polaris. Polaris is a great nature unit, by the way, if you, if you don't know. 
Uh, limit break four, counterblast two. When this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose another of your great nature rear guards and stand it. And that unit receives plus 4,000 power until the end of turn, and at the end phase, retire uh, that unit. Um, and then his vanguard ability is whenever he attacks a vanguard, he gains 3k. So he'll always be attacking a vanguard for 13, which is good. So that means he can hit cross rides. <clears throat> So, anyway, guys, this, um, like I said, those were my big six. Uh, Platnezel, The Blood, Glory Maelstrom, Blaster Blade, and Dark Spirits, and uh, Polaris. Um, if you have any of these cards that you do not want, private message me. I'm willing to trade. Um, I'm willing to buy. So, let me know. And... Uh, um, the only other cards that I'd be willing to maybe trade for, so long as they were a part of a bigger trade, would be Knight of Passion Bagdemagus's, which is the 12k attacker for Ezel, and then maybe 12k attackers for Vermilion, um, and then Kaidens. I, I want to play test Kaiden, so I'll, I'd like to pick up Kaidens too. And then if you have other commons that I might need, that can be included in the trade, but unless you have at least some single rares or maybe even a double rare or something that I'm looking for. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not willing to do, um, trading over YouTube for just rare cards. I mean, just the single rare cards I can pick up at my locals or if I'm that desperate, I'll just order them. But, um, if you have say like one of, uh, these big six and that I showed you and you have something else like the commons that I need, I'd be willing to trade extra for those. Um, normally my policy on commons, unless they're promos, is one for one. So if I give you a common, I get a common. Um, that's kind of how I work for commons. That's pretty much how I work for single rares too, because all the single rares are worth about a dollar anyway. So anyway, um, this has just been a set nine, uh, update, you know, uh, tournament, tournament update or report, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to, I posted, the last video I posted on here was just talking about it, so I wanted to show you the results. Um, also, remember, if you are interested in this at all, um, let me know what your, uh, if you're interested in it or not, um, and then if you have things that I want, I might be persuaded to uh, trade it, but if I don't trade it, uh, uh like, I'll probably give it about a week, maybe two. If I don't get any feedback before it, before then, I'll probably just keep it and frame it. So, anyway, guys, if you're interested in the mat, put in the comment section below that you're interested in it. Um, say you'd be willing to trade for it or whatever, and uh, let me know. Um, and then, if you have any cards from Set 9 that I mentioned, please let me know so we can work out a trade. Um... As for my trade binder, my trade binder right now is a mess because I've done so much trading and selling at my uh, selling to friends at, and at my locals. So uh, I'm going to uh, once set nine, once I get my set nine boxes because I'm going to get at least two. I'm gonna my trade binder will be a little more refueled. Um, I'm thinking about maybe putting one of my trade my decks up for trade. I haven't decided which one yet, so that'll put some more stuff in there. But <clears throat> anyway, that's. That's that. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. We're at 40 subscribers last time I checked, so we're just 10 subscribers away from the contest for the win -a Um Really excited about that. Um, I, uh, please continue subscribing to the channel. Spread the word to your friends. Anybody who has subscribed to the channel will be willing to compete. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.